But first, the Cambridge invention transforming people's lives in parts of rural Africa. It uses solar energy to power lights, phone chargers and TVs in some of the globe's most remote off-grid villages. And the maker, Azuri Technologies, has just been named as one of the world's top 100 companies for sustainable innovation. Here's our science correspondent, Richard Westcott. About half the population of Africa don't have electricity. That's 600 million people with no lights, TV, radio, phone chargers. This Cambridge invention is changing that. So this is the box that you'd have in your home, so it's mounted on the wall. And the customer, when they've made a payment, will then type the code into the unit. The unit then has power and you can then switch the uh, lights on and we have lighting, we have mobile phone charging, uh, torch and TV outputs. It uses solar power to generate the electricity. Users paying small instalments until they've paid for the unit. After that, the power is free. So it's absolutely transformative. Um, it, it, it's very strange to think that you know, in this day and age where you can get smartphones in, in Africa and many people have them, you still have people lighting their homes with kerosene and candles, which the pharaohs would have understood perfectly well. Those kerosene lamps he's talking about give off a thick smoke that damages the environment and can cause respiratory and eye problems. People might also walk for miles for a refill. A typical village boy would have to cover, say, three kilometres to go and look for kerosene and then you'd imagine uh, he would be able to do this after school. So going three kilometers, the return journey is six kilometers. The time wasted, they don't have time for, for doing their studies, their homework. Collins is visiting Cambridge from Kenya. He says just being able to charge a phone in your home makes a huge difference. Now once fully charged, they've got uh, access to practically the whole world. Um, they can do mobile banking, they can you know, use the voice aspect, talk to their families both within and outside Kenya. So really it's just something that changes completely the way they live and the way they can communicate with the rest of the world. Cheaper electricity fuels an economy. Businesses can stay open later. Children can do homework later. This Cambridge invention's now giving power to three quarters of a million African people. Richard Westcott, BBC Look East, Cambridge.